A new rude nickname is being used to describe employees who only come into the office on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Post-lockdown, many people have been continuing to work from home. However, it turns out that many of those who can choose when to stay in or go to their office are making the most of the freedom. Commuter numbers at the moment in London drop dramatically on Mondays and Fridays as people relax in and out of the weekend. City AM reported that in the City of London there are 20% more commuters on Tuesdays than Mondays and 35% more on Thursdays. Now it has been reported that members of the Three Days a Week Club have been given a new moniker by their peers at city firms, twats. This trend was seen in full force on September 30th a Thursday, when 100,000 commuters passed through Bank and Monument tube stations for the first time since March 2020. It was the busiest day since then for Farringdon and Canary Wharf as well. However, describing people who divide their working week between office and home time as twats actually precedes the pandemic. Rory Sutherland coined the term in January 2019 in a Spectator column, describing people who came into the office for meetings and stayed at home to do more menial tasks. Twat was capitalized as such to stand for Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Sutherland was actually complimentary of the idea and wrote, I'm not sure the name is going to catch on, but the behavior should. The more people become twats, the more effective twattery becomes. Earlier this week, Boris Johnson urged workers to get back to the office as much as possible following the lifting of COVID guidelines in July. He told LBC, we are certainly encouraging people to get back to work in the normal way. And I think that's a good thing, for young people in particular, it is really essential if you're going to learn on the job, you can't just do it on Zoom. You've got to be able to come in and sit, know what everybody else is talking about, otherwise you're going to be gossiped about, and lose out. You need to be there and you need to have the stimulus of exchange and competition.